As you can see, it's the holidays. In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys five bicycle bags that would make the perfect gift for that cyclist in your life or for yourself, if you're good. And these bags are backpacks and totes and hip bags. So not bags made for the bike, but bags are made by bike companies. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you love to ride bikes and chill and are into bike bags, the supple life, then you have found your people, hit that subscribe button. So in this video, I thought I would take a break from all the ranting and talk about something that every cyclist likes, right? And that is bags. These are five of my favorite that I've used over the last two years that I think would make a great gift for that cyclist in your life. So the first bike bag is this little guy. This is the Rivendell Sackville grab sack and it's a riv take on this Swiss style medic bag. It's fairly small big enough to fit an iPad This is the 2018 one. It's not the largest one, but it's a good size for this It makes a great everyday carry bag around town if you're commuting running errands It's made with a cotton duck fabric that is very similar to Caradice bags and overall it's really simple But it's classy as all get out the closures are these cool little wood toggles They go around these brass uh, D loops here and on the inside is basically one large compartment There is one smaller pouch to kind of separate things But it's not zippered in terms of how you're supposed to carry this bag This bag is actually designed to be worn over your shoulder like a satchel like so or you can also ride with it as a hip bag uh, Although it has to sit kind of off-center on your waist. So Sackville grab sack This is the small size and this retails for $75. I bought this for myself uh, when we were in Portland recently Makes a, a great bag for uh, cameras for, for, for mirrorless cameras or for my watercolor kit The next bag is also from Rivendell. You can tell I'm a fan It is the Sackville shop sack and this is the size medium again It's made from that same kind of pliable waxy uh, cotton canvas and this is actually probably the proto basket bag I think initially when it was launched it had little uh, clips here meant to attach to the walled 137 it doesn't sell like that now but it still works uh, perfectly with that basket with either a cargo net or you can get little carabiners so it clips onto the side of the wall it's not quite big enough to fit a laptop but it will fit a tablet I've been using this generally as my uh, personal item when, when we fly. On the inside, it is just one big compartment. There is a separated compartment here with a little brass zipper. I've had this for about two years. It's wearing in well. It's a great tote bag that you can put in a Wald 137 or just carry around and use it as a regular bag. And this bag retails for $70. The next bag is the Pioneer 12 hip bag by our friends at North Street. And this one is an X-Pack camo. This is the widest hip bag in their line. And when I wear it, it almost runs across the entire width of my back. The way it attaches is it's got these uh, buckle straps, which can be completely removed. Also has little loops here, so you could run other smaller straps and put this on your handlebar. I will say if you're gonna do that, you're gonna need uh, relatively wide handlebars, as well as a handlebar with a fair amount of clearance between the handlebar and the top of the tire, because when it's full, it tends to sag a little bit, unlike the smaller version. There is a zippered front pocket inside there is the main zippered pocket uh, with a fair amount of organization there's another uh, there's another zippered pocket in here with a key leash and some other pockets so you can stuff pens and what have you there's also a velcro area here where they sell other uh, dividers and attachments that you can use with this hip bag and as you can see it opens up uh, fairly wide which is both good and bad uh, I initially tried this as a fly fishing hip bag but found that the fact that it does open like this is kind of a downside because I had a tendency to drop things in the river so I don't use it for fishing but for everything else it works great it'll fit a decent sized sketchbook uh, a small mirrorless camera or a point and shoot so pretty versatile if you're into the hip bag thing and need something a little bit bigger and this retails for $90 and they need a week lead time so if you're hoping to pick this up for yourself or as a gift you should probably contact them now we're going to move on to backpacks this is the Ortlieb Velocity roll top uh, commuter backpack and because it's Ortlieb it's waterproof quality is great it's impeccable it is a little bit on the smaller size but I have used this on weekend trips it'll fit all the clothes as long as I'm not carrying too many things like cameras or what have you it's got nice big padded uh, shoulder straps and uh, a padded back which kind of which creates some space from your back and the bag itself so there is some ventilation going on in terms of the interior it is one big cavernous hole there is a small zippered pocket in here for some organization not a whole lot it's essentially like a big rideable pannier closure is uh, a roll top like so and a velcro strap so it carries a lot of what you need but not 
big enough to carry all the things. On the exterior, it does have uh, these little loops here so you can uh, strap things on. And here I've actually strapped things on like a small tripod and even a fly rod. So if you're looking for a waterproof Ortley backpack as a weekender or as a daily commuter, Velocity is a cool one to check out. They actually have one, uh, a high-vis model. This entire area is highly reflective even though it looks black. This isn't the high-vis one, but that's pretty cool. And this retails for about $115. All right, moving on. This is the largest uh, backpack of the mix. You gotta step back here. This is the Showers Pass Transit bag. And this thing is, it's pretty big for a backpack. And what's cool about it is because it's Showers Pass, it is completely waterproof. And in terms of capacity, um, not quite sure what the interior volume is, but suffice to say, I've been able to pack like a week's worth of clothing on this. Uh, so when we go to conferences or visiting family or something, and I don't want to deal with rolling luggage, then I usually just take this guy. The straps are big and comfortable, cool anodized hardware. So it's got a huge uh, wide mouth entrance. There is sleeve compartments here for both a laptop and a tablet. On the side, there are two kind of stretchy pouches uh, designed to put water bottles or other vertically oriented things. And in the front, it's got this guy for more things. <laughs> if you've got things that you need to dry, uh, this uh, front pouch has a mesh uh, sidewall. Another selling point, it's got these recon lights which can work as a safety light in the pinch if, in case you forgot a blinky. Whew. I've really enjoyed it as a long weekend bag when we travel. It also makes a great event bag if you're doing something like Cycle Oregon or a week-long ride where they shuttle your gear. Because it's waterproof and it's got straps, you can just sling it over your bag, push your bike along, find where you're gonna set up for the night. I know we used it uh, recently on the Ochiko Overlander for that same purpose. And it was nice to know that it was waterproof and because it rained, pretty much the whole time we were there. I didn't have to worry about any of the, the contents inside getting wet. So this behemoth and bag uh, costs $264. So not cheap, but pretty feature rich. So next bag I'm gonna talk about is the Mission Workshop Reiki. And this is definitely a, a backpack, a cycling backpack for the modern age. It's got a ton of features. Um, I might do a separate video on this just because there's, there is a lot going on. But basically, if you're the type of person that carries a lot of media devices, a laptop, an iPad, and you don't want to constantly get into the top of the bag to access those items, then this is the bag for you. It's fairly slim. Uh, the interior capacity is actually probably a little bit less than the Ortley Velocity, but it does have a lot of external pockets to make up for that. So first off, on the side here, there is a long zippered pocket. Big enough to fit a laptop. This is pretty cool in those situations, say you're flying and you don't uh, want to unroll your whole bag and dig around and grab your laptop, you can access it pretty quickly from the side. Uh, there is another zippered pocket here, which is the perfect size for an iPad or tablet or whatever you want to use. Uh, for me, I also put a sketchbook in here. And in the front here, it's got these distinct kind of uh, storage areas, which you open up via buckles and zippers, revealing two other areas where you can carry things. On this side, it's a lot more minimal, just kind of a simple pouch. And on this side, a lot of zippers, a lot of little zippered pockets to great for uh, pens, stationery, camera gear, cables, electronics, all that good stuff. And to get into the main compartment, uh, there is this buckle and Velcro closure. And then it's a roll top entry with another zippered uh, compartment here. But wait, there's one last thing. Uh, this is actually a cool feature that I find myself using a lot. There is one more zippered pocket here at the bottom, which I find perfect for separating your bike tools and pump and lock. So it doesn't go and bash everything else inside your bag. So in here I carry uh, my Abbas Bordeaux lock, uh, a bike light, tools, and it'll, it will also fit a pump. It's a great bag that compartmentalizes lots of things so you can access them individually without having to get into the main compartment all the time. A lot of pockets. You do pay for all this easy access. This bike is the most expensive of the bunch at $365, but it is made in the Bay Area, but it is impeccably constructed, and it's such a cool bag in terms of uh, storage and all the different ways you can use it. So if you've been good or your friend or partner has been good, that's 
might be one to consider. If you guys have any other questions about these bags, leave those in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them and uh, stay tuned for more gift lists as the holidays approach. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a bunch at different price points. If you guys have ideas for different theme gift lists that you wanna see, let me know. Consider supporting the channel via the PayPal and Patreon links. And as always, keep the supple side down.